what's going on guys Cody here with CJ Bill thanks for tuning back in the channel and guys today <clears throat> I was doing a little bit of maintenance on the car and I messed up I went ahead and I stripped two of the valve cover bolts so not the end of the world I went ahead and got a helicoil okay so we're gonna go ahead and fix those threads real quick and then we're gonna do what we actually were gonna do in this video and take the car out for a drive and work on some tune stuff get a little couple pulls in to be pretty simple there's I think there's three steps to doing the helicoil kit one, you have to drill out the old thread. So you just go in there with the bit and drill it out. Two, you put the thread for the helicoil. So it has a top there that we can put the new thread in. And the step three is putting the helicoil little coil spring in there. That way that's your new threads. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. It'll be a few, like another minute of how to get it done. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know here on Instagram. And then we'll take the car for a spin. Hope you guys have a good one and let's get to work. This is what the little what the kit comes with it comes with the bit to be able to drill out the threads that are there tap to create the threads that you need now and then these little guys are the ones you're gonna be putting in there for your new threads Just like that, we have two brand new threads. I'm gonna put this thing in macro mode so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. We've got boom, new threads. And then let's check a look at the other side. We've got boom, new threads. Nice, so everything's all tightened down. All right guys, so we're in the Honda that's warming up right now. Um, right now we have the S manager open. So to kind of walk you through a little bit of the issue I was having. So if I try to shift pretty quick into, usually it's in third gear that it happens. I get a throttle cut, like the car just dies for a second then wakes up. Um, so right now what I did was I dropped throttle tip into negative 40. And I'm gonna see if that helps our issue. Um, I'll do some testing with that. If it does, then we're we're gangster. Like we're one step closer to putting this on the dyno. I'll record it, and if it does keep happening, and we can diagnose from there. Um, but yeah, guys, you're welcome to tag along. We'll be cruising around. Hopefully, it runs well. Um, so let me get the car warmed up, and then we're right out.
can do with some Hondata two-step. Alright, we'll do a quick test over here in Mexico before we ride out. settings those were for the two steps so that was let me raise up the brightness so over here that was fuel and ignition uh, no power reduction um, that was a late activation and that was at 5,000 rpm 400 enrichment negative 50 degrees timing um, 5,000 rpm before 1,800 activation yeah I just said that um, so yeah um, it's not great it's not perfect but it did sound pretty gnarly mm -hmm. 